Hey, what's up guys? My name is Elias and welcome to your fourth jQuery tutorial. And this tutorial is gonna be something really special. Since, you know, in the last tutorials we were talking about cool stuff, but we could have done all that without using jQuery. And every time I have script on my page, I want my script to be interactive. So I want my script to communicate with the user in a way that imagine when user clicks a button, I want something to happen. So what if I um, want to use my events in my jQuery code? So what do I do? Uh, first, let me show you all the events we have here. Bind, Blur, and there are lots of them, like tons of them. But we are going to be working with click today. Click, um, which means if I click on something, it's going to execute. So let's do that. Let's just dive in. What I want to do is I want all the all this button to disappear when I click on this button. So let's just go ahead and give us a try. All right. Anyway, if I want to do something which is referred to the button special, I want to select this button special first, like I did before. Special. But instead of uh, typing CSS like in the last tutorials we are just gonna say click. It's very easy to uh, memorize since click stands for click and then parentheses as usual and then instead of um, passing like these parameters you say function and then you need parentheses again and then curly brackets as usual and do not forget to put the semicolon otherwise you code won't execute. And within your curly brackets right here you can type your actions you want to do. So as I said I want these buttons from 2 to 6 to disappear when I click on button 1. Alright, uh, we can actually uh, select all the buttons just like this. Just type button do not type buttons, just type button and this button will refer to all these buttons which are highlighted here. So I just selected all the buttons I have in my document and then I can hide it. And that's just gonna happen. I'm gonna reload the page and click it. Yeah, all the buttons are gone, but I want my button spatial to stay on the page. I don't want it to disappear. Let's do something very cool and um, there is actually an addition to the tutorial about selectors. What I do is I can use my not selector as follows and within this parentheses I'm just uh, typing an element's name or class or type which I don't want to select like an exception and I can just say uh, special and then save it, reload, click. Yeah, as you see, everything is gone except the button one. Isn't cool, huh? All right, we're almost done for now, but there's one more thing I still want to show you guys is uh, this selector. So what it does, it selects my special button since this code will execute when the special button is clicked. And let's say um, if I want this button to be small and black when I click on it. So I can actually use my CSS from the previous tutorial and copy that here. Mm, yeah, just like this. So let's say the font size should be like 12 pixels and the color should be black. And now that's just going to happen. Uh, make sure you reload the page every time you uh, save changes. Now, one, two, three. Yeah, it did. So what it did is it hit all the buttons first, and then uh, except the spatial button, and then it applied um, the font size of 12 pixels and the color of black to this button. And that's it. So, um... We actually learned a lot in this tutorial, and I would recommend you guys to um, 
to do it by yourself, like to practice a little bit, to play around with um, jQuery and elements. Because now you can actually do a lot already. Uh, you can change elements, um, attributes, style. You can um, hide elements, make elements appear. Um, you can use this events. You can use the click event already. So play around a little bit. And in this tutorial, we are going to be learning some new and cool stuff. And I hope you guys liked it. So I will see you guys in the next tutorial.